now, item five, improving our professional communications. We got hammered on this in the last reader survey, so we seriously need to improve it. Not to mention, they hear the principal's concerned about the library's visibility across the institution. Hmm, I'd also like to find ways to better engage with other professionals. Indeed. And given current budgets, I think you all need to think outside of the box. How about a newsletter then? Stuffed full to the brim of the latest library news. Pictures of books. Interviews with the shelvers. Oh, yes, we could call it Shelf Life. I bet no one's done that before. Hmm? Anyway, then we could post a copy to everyone. That would really raise our visibility. No, we don't have room for that in the budget. Nor the time to stuff envelopes. Why don't we do it by email? That'd be cheaper. Clickety-clack, done. Uh, wouldn't we need the registrar's permission to email everybody? I'm golfing with his wife next Tuesday, so I'm sure I can make him more amenable. Uh, Tell what else here. Mr. Goose? Sorry? I'm not sure the principal would approve of a mass email. They tested poorly in our last round of focus groups. Well, what about expanding on the library web news then? I think I uh, put something up about the opening hours last month. I mean, that didn't that cause quite a splash? Only because you don't know the difference between AM and PM. Ooh. Websites are really in, aren't they? Um, I saw one in the news the other day. You know, that really useful white one. Let you find things. Oh, what was it called? The library catalog? No, no, Goggle, I think. Um, maybe we could build something like that. <laughs> is, is that coming from outside the building, then? Mr. Goosington, if you could please focus. We could put up more news content, but I don't think that's going to open up any new dialogues. Can't we just invite them all in for a nice cup of tea? with a couple of custard creams. Oh yes, I'd vote for that. But better make it Garibaldi's, they're less fattening. Don't be a fool, Mr. Goosington. Think of the time, think of the expense. Oh, yes, uh, quite, yes. Uh. Oh, if only we could be somewhere where they already are, rather than expecting them to come to us. We wouldn't need a single kettle. Or biscuit. I'm sure there's something really obvious we keep missing. Ah! Ah! What about social networking? Social networking? Are you insane? Ah! What if one of the readers complains about us? What if someone criticizes the library publicly? Anyone could say anything, anytime, anywhere. But your readers and staff are already using it. And if you won't take part in the conversation, you're missing out big time. Um, maybe we could, um, you know, try. But we need to find a way to control the conversation. Yes, ensure only edifying topics are discussed. But I'm concerned about the potential for rogue elements to hijack it. But what if one of us does something wrong and breaks the internet? Uh, again. Look, I'm hearing a lot of big fat butts. And normally, I like big fat butts. But in this case, social networking would answer most of your requirements for improving communication and visibility. The costs are negligible, there's not a whole lot of training needed, and best of all, lots of people are using it already. It's a resource just waiting for you to exploit it. Try it! What have you got to lose? A uh, professional reputation? Ah, uh, self-respect? I agree. Thank you, strange weasel. But I think it might be more trouble than it's worth. Ah! Uh. Now, what about a new library logo? Shaped like a book stamp. 